Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to The Sip, your daily sip of just the right tea. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I hope this reading, this message, this video finds you well, yeah? Keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is not science-specific. This is a big old collective reading, yes? So this is for everybody in the collective, potentially, but it will not resonate for everyone. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is also a timeless reading. There are no dates associated with this reading. Whenever you are guided to watch and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment, yeah? Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Definitely smash that like button and share with your friends, those of you, the, those who you feel would really benefit from, the, from this. Smashing the like button will definitely help the YouTube algorithm get this out to more people that may need the message and... Just send it to whoever, whoever you think will resonate, yeah? Two more shuffles here, and then we will get into today's sip. Yes? Excellent, guys. Here we go. Last shuffle. What's going on for the collective? What messages do we have for the collective today? Spirit, what is our daily sip? First card is the Page of Pentacles. You're starting a new path. You're starting a new reality. You have that with temperance. All right. All right. Cool. Okay. You need to be patient. Cool it. I'm hearing. Page of swords. Okay. I want to flesh. I want to finish this out. Three more cards, please. For the collective here. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Queen of wands. Eight of pentacles. Both in reverse. One last card, though. One last card for the collective for this reading. Please, spirit. One last card. One last card, please. There it is right there. Three of Cups. Okay. Hanged man. All right. Um, okay. What I'm getting with this... Uh, blah, 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 blah. First thing that I got when the Three of Cups came out here is it seems that your efforts are being received well. It does. That's literally what I heard. Three of Cups, okay? There is some sort of, there's some form of service. I feel like that you're providing to the collective or there's something that you're doing. There's something that you've started. There's something that you want to start. I feel like you've started it already. I, I see you showing up as the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. You're creating something new. You've started a new process. You've started a new endeavor. You've made some sort of new commitment. Okay. But you're seeking some sort of evidence of how that's working out. You're seeking something here. But in between those two energies is the universe here as temperance saying that things are working, coming together. Okay, things are alchemizing. This, this, this process is, on, I really feel like this process is underway. I feel like this is whatever new alignment that you're in that we've been talking about here. Um, and we did talk about this two days ago on Monday. Um, you have a new alignment that you settled into. Keep going. But at this point now, I feel like you're looking for some sort of fruits of your labor. You're looking for some sort of fruits of your labor and I feel like you're not finding it or you're not seeing it because then you have the queen of wands and the eight of pentacles in reverse. Either you are feeling like you are, I just heard lack mentality. Okay. Either you're feeling like you're falling out of alignment in this situation and that your efforts are not being taken into account or being taken seriously, or you actually are falling out of alignment feeling like you want to let this alignment go, um, mainly because this eight of pentacles in reverse here is feeling like you don't want to be putting forth the effort any longer because you're not seeing the results that you desire really is what I wanted, what I just heard. So that's what I'm going to say. I feel like you might be seeing results, however minuscule they may be at this time. But remember you're still in the beginning stages of this new alignment or this new process. I really, I feel like I should um, try and do my best to remember to link 
Monday's episode of The Sip to this one in case you missed it or in case you want to go back and watch it again because it feels like we're piggybacking off of that energy. The fruits of your labor, your desired results are coming is what I just heard. And with this three of cups here, it feels like whatever it is you're doing already is being um, accepted well by the collective. Is I'm sorry, is being received well by the collective already, by the people that you serve. It's already being received well. So there's really nothing to worry about here. It's just that you're seeking greater evidence of, of your efforts being taken seriously or really working out for you. And because you're not seeing that yet, you're falling out of alignment or you're feeling like you should come out of alignment or you should change your alignment or you're not vibing with this anymore. You're not feeling it anymore. Blah, blah, blah. whoop de whoop not abo shit, right? Overall energy, energy though for you is the hanged man. And underneath the hanged man, what's wanting to show itself is the world. Sorry guys, I keep hitting the camera there. But look, you have the hanged man at the bottom of the deck and underneath the hanged man is the world. You're being held in a moment of stasis, in a moment of, well, it feels like stagnation, but it feels like you feel like it's stagnation. From the universal point of view, it's not stagnation. From the universal point of view, <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. My throat is tightening up. From the from the universal point of view here, you are being held in a, a level of a stasis ward is what I just heard. <laughs> I play StarCraft. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, then don't worry about it. If you do know what that is, hey, StarCraft crew. Anyway, um, you're being held in a bit of a stasis energy. As things come together for you, there's also a lesson to be learned in this, I'm getting. There's a level of enlightenment here. That you are, this, this stasis, this stagnation you are being held in right now is serving two purposes. One, it's allowing the universe to let, it's allowing the universe to bring things together for you. But two, it's also learn, uh, teaching you a lesson, it has the potential to teach you a, les a lesson in patience and also in trusting the universe and trusting divine guidance is what I just heard. Okay. Okay. So what's next in this situation then, please, Spirit? What's next? What do you want to say to the collective next? The High Priestess just showed herself, but went right back in. What's next in this message? First card is the Nine of Swords. Next, you have the Ace of Cups reversed. Followed by the Ace of Pentacles and Death. Overall energy is the star. You are reaching your goal here. But there is a level of rejecting... The love that is being sent to you here by the universe, Ace of Cups, out of fear. Because you want to see results... But what you need to understand is that this love, this Ace of Cups energy that is pouring down upon you is the water that's actually going to nurture this seed and continue to allow it to grow, Ace of Pentacles, which is ultimately going to lead you to your transformation in death. Okay. Yeah, this is what I want to start clarifying then. All right. Let us get into some clarifying energies. Yes? Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Five shuffles here for some clarity for the collective. Yeah? One. Clarify. Please. Thank you so much, Spirit, for your love, your guidance for the collective, your clarity, and the messages that you send to us. We are greatly, truly appreciative of them. And we receive them wholeheartedly with open hearts and with gratitude. Thank you so much. Four. And five. All right. I want to clarify this nine of swords here. So what is this nine of swords? Oh, look at that. There's that queen of wands again. But you're afraid that your alignment is not 
proper, that you're not doing the right thing, that maybe you've chosen the wrong alignment or something like that. That's not the case. What's this Nine of Swords energy? The Nine of Swords is illusion, guys. What's the Nine of Swords here? One more card. Just one more card for the Nine of Swords, please. There it is right there. All right, what do we have? What do we have? We've got the Three of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Overall energy is the moon. Yeah, all right. So um, this Nine of Swords energy, what you're fearing is not working is an illusion. Uh, and I understand why you might be tripped up by this because you have this Three of Swords here. The Three of Swords is representing energies from the past. Heartbreak, in terms of this, in, the, in terms of the way that you serve the collective, I feel like you dealt with some sort of heartbreak and or destruction in the past. And that's kind of coloring and or influencing how you feel about this level of service, whatever it is you're providing, whatnot, whatever to the collective currently at this time. And yet with the Nine of Wands here, you need to just persevere. What you need to understand, you guys, is that whatever it is you're fearing at this point is literally just an illusion. And the Nine of Swords represents illusions. It represents, um, you know, self-fulfilling prophecies. It represents fearing the worst without the worst actually happening all together on its own. But then it's also clarified by the moon, which is even more illusion, which is true illusion. Okay. I'm hearing illusions of grandeur. All right, all right, all right. Take it as it resonates. It's an illusion. Don't give into it. Fight through this. Push through this. I understand how you feel. It's interesting because I went through a level of this this morning as well. But when I sat down to meditate, to collect myself before I started doing my daily readings here, my, my, my work for the collective here, my service and how I'm providing for the collective, I found a part of me or I connected with my guides who were encouraging me to just keep going. They literally said to me, do not focus on what you see in the external. Continue to do your readings. Continue to show up for the collective. Continue to do your work. Continue to be of service for the collective. And y'all know if you've been following me long, long enough, y'all know that I often go through things, have my own personal experiences, and then it comes out for the collective and I am able to provide you perspective on it. So yes, this resonates with me in a certain, on a certain level, okay? I went through this exact thing this morning, but what I did was I sat down, I meditated, I sat with myself, I sat with my emotions. Do not push your emotions away. Do not push what it is you're feeling away. Don't deny it. Don't negate it. Don't try to circumvent it. Feel it. Understand it. But then let it go. And allow yourself to shift back into a level of equilibrium. Okay? But when I did that, I was able to find the inspiration to continue doing what it is I'm doing here for the collective. That's what you're being asked to do here. You're being asked to sit with yourself, recognize that this is an illusion, recognize that a lot of the pain that you're feeling is from the past and you need to just persevere. You need to just push through it, okay? Let's talk about this Ace of Cups in reverse. What's the Ace of Cups in reverse for the collective Holy Spirit? Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse here? First card is the Knight of Wands, all right? Four of Swords. Why, what's the Ace of Cups in reverse for the collective please here? Okay. All right. Overall energy is the Emperor. Okay. Uh, you have the Knight of Wands here with the Four of Swords. Ooh, this is a big stack. The Star, Seven of Pentacles, King of Swords, the Hermit, and the Two of Swords. Um... Uh, I'll, I'll, first of all, I apologize if the lawnmower in the back is in the background is disturbing you, but you know I have neighbors and they've got to take care of their lawn, so there's that. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Ace of Cups in reverse. You're in a level of denial. Obviously, you do have the Two of Swords here. What this is really saying to you is stop rejecting the love that you have from the that is coming to you from the universe. 
Stop rejecting this. Because it is this love, this care, this nurturance that is going to help this seed grow. I said that already. But you have the Knight of Wands here, followed by the Four of Swords to the star. Um, the Knight of Wands is representing your inspiration to move in this certain direction, to be of service in this certain way, okay? Knight of Wands to the Four of Swords to the star. What I want to say to this is remember what has inspired you to get into this action, this mode of service, this mode of action to begin with. Understand that you are on your way there and that no, you're not going to be able to see or know how long it's going to take you to get there. But you know that something is inspiring you to move forward with this. For whatever reason, and that is personal to you, but whatever reason you have been inspired to take on this mission or to take on this form of action, that in and of itself is good enough. Remember that spark. Okay, <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles, King of Swords, the Hermit. What this is saying to me, you guys, is while you may not be able to see the fruits of your labor just yet, Seven of Pentacles, recognize and or keep in mind what it is you're capable of, King of Swords to the Hermit. This is actually, okay, now I'm being taken back to yesterday's reading, which was titled, Remember Who the Fuck You Are. Again, remember who the fuck you are. Remember what it is you are capable of. Remember who it is that you are. Remember who it is that God created you to be. Remember the talents that God gave you. God gave you these talents, these abilities, this desire. Put this desire in your heart for a reason. And it's not, I can assure you, it is not to sit up there on some fucking cloud watching you flounder around like a ta like a chicken with its head cut off or whatnot, whatever, trying to serve your mission and getting nowhere. That is not the case. That is not the reason why you have been, you desire this. That is not the reason why this, this desire has been placed upon you within your heart. That is not the reason why you've been given these gifts that you are using to help serve the collective. So don't even go there, two of swords. Don't even go there. Stop rejecting this love and acceptance from the universe and allow it to nurture you. Allow it to nurture you. Okay? The emperor is the overall energy at the bottom of the deck. Keep moving. We have our trajectory set in place. You know where it is you're trying to go. Just keep going. The emperor says, stick with the plan. Because you're going in the right direction. Now I'm seeing how Monday's reading and yesterday's reading is connecting to all of this. Monday's reading was talking about how you have this new alignment, you've settled into some sort of process, good, keep going. It's new, but keep going. Yesterday's reading or Tuesday's reading was all about naysayers. Individuals that were trying to tell you what you are and are not capable of. Remember who the fuck you are and don't listen to them. Today's reading is all about stop doubting your intuition. Stop doubting your process. You may not be able to see the fruits of your labor just yet, but you're getting there. Stick with the plan. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for the collective, please. Spirit. <laughs> The moon wanted to just show itself again. Illusion! Oh, okay. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. What's the Ace of Pentacles for the Collective? Please, Spirit. Oh. Okay. What do we have here? The Queen of Pentacles. Strength. The world. The tower. What is all of this? I'm not going to take that. Overall energy. The magician. Okay. So yes, you are actively manifesting this. And I understand, I understand, I understand why you feel like this or why you might feel like this. 
because you are in fact putting in the time, attention, effort, and energy to nurture something into existence. Queen of Pentacles. But your ego is flaring. Strength. Your ego is flaring because you're starting to question whether or not you're going to receive the fruits of your labor. Am I doing all this work for nothing? It's not for nothing. Followed, that, followed by that, you have the world with the tower. There is going to be a sudden development, a sudden change here. Okay? A very sudden change. It feels like it's going to come out of nowhere. And that makes perfect sense because you're in this kind of darkness, this kind of elusive energy where you can't really see anything developing yet. But then all of a sudden, all at once, bam! Not only do you have the fruits of your labor obviously being seen uh, or, or visible to you, apparent to you, blatantly obvious to you, but it's more than you could have imagined. Suddenly, out of nowhere, the tower. Now, also, what the world and the tower are representing for you here and this is actually the strongest message that's coming through with this. There are still certain elements to the past or whatever that are to your previous cycle that are still being brought down. And this actually may be on a collective scale. This may not necessarily just be in your personal 3D existence. This may have a lot to do with the collective that you are serving. There still may be some situations, some realities, some, something about a previous cycle that still needs to come down before your re the real fruits of your labor are visible, are seen, are shown, are harvestable. But that doesn't mean that you should stop or give up your efforts because you are, in fact, manifesting something new. You just got to go with the flow. Okay, last thing I want to clarify for the collective here is death. Clarify death for the collective, please, Spirit. Clarify this transformation. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to leave it right there. Oh, okay, well, there is more. All right. How did the... That's interesting. Okay, all of this is reversed got put back in the deck reverse, so I'm going to pull it upright. You've got the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Everything you could have dreamed of, your wish fulfillment is coming. You have the first card here is the Ten of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. Then you have the Three of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, boop, the Ten of Cups. You are well on your way. Death is, tra is translating into an end of something very painful, something deceptive, some sort of hard situation for you. Whatever it is you are manifesting, it feels like it has uh, um, uh, uh, financial abundance attached to it. Ten of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles. You're going from a very difficult time into an abundant time. Into a new opportunity, a new beginning. You are well on your way. Three of Wands, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups. You left the past behind. You got yourself into a place of happiness and contentment or understanding what it would be that would make you happy and content. And that is directly connected to what it is you left behind. And what are you moving towards? What are you well on your way towards? Your Ten of Cups. So keep going and stick with the plan. Okay? Closing Oracle Guidance is coming from the Light Worker Oracle deck. Ugh. Boop. Okay.
Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. All right, closing order of guidance for the collective, please, Spirit. <laughs> Card number 10, power of the divine masculine. This is also that emperor energy. Stick with the plan. An empowering energy seeks expression from within. It wishes to free you from confusion, paralysis, and stagnancy. It seeks to stir you into consciously chosen action, greater discipline, and focus. It's time to end the frustration of repeating old patterns. You are ready to break through into a new way of life. Feel inspired, be energized, and focus on your dreams and desires. Take steps to manifest them on the physical plane. Believe your success is inevitable. Stick with the plan. There you have it. I love you all so very much. I hope this reading was helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastic day. If you have enjoyed this reading, if it has brought you clarity, peace of mind, and all that good stuff, please make sure to smash that like button, share this with your friends, and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Uh, also, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested, and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. With that said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Genuinely, I love you so very much. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next sip of tea tomorrow. Yeah? Beautimus. <laughs> Bye.